I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's very challenging, a lot of fun, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. That's why practicing with random pulls is a great exercise because you can practice identifying the strength in the dealt hand. Well, two, because you got two hands. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls, alternating between player one and player two. Player one will get 28 tiles, player two will get 27 tiles. We have east and south pair of east, white dragon and a pung of green dragons. In cracks, we have one, two, three, six, seven pairs of ones and twos. Here's the jokers, four. We have one, three, five, eight, nine in bams with a pair of fives, one, five, eight in dots with a pair of fives, and four jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play like numbers with fives and dragons. We might even be able to do that one pure, maybe. If we can get another white dragon, maybe so that we only have to use one joker. And then I think I would focus on consecutive run, one, two, three, hope for flowers, or use these. There are, are there's one consecutive run hand that uses five flowers, and we could use jokers there. Maybe use this as joker bait. And if you wanna know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description below. This is a strategy coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama, and it's hit or miss, but when it works, it feels really good. You discard a tile, later in the game, your opponent makes an exposure with a joker, and then on your next turn, you make the exchange. There's timing involved though, it really works best about the middle of the middle game. So let's set these tiles up. I think that's what I would do here. Like numbers with fives and dragons, and then probably one, two, three, pung, or pair pung kong with flowers. I would just wait and see though. We have a couple other tiles here that might help. I would gather tiles around the multiple, so fours might help in here if we can get them. And then we'd use this as joker bait and discard those. If you would do something different with these tiles, let me know in the comment section below. This is pull one. There is some potential in here for one, three, five. We have one, three, one, three, fives. But let's see, one, three. Yeah, we're missing a three dot. I was thinking maybe we could play a pair hand, one, three, five pair hand, and then maybe the concealed hand with dragons for this one, two run. Of course, we're gonna need a pair of flowers, but we're still keeping all those tiles and we didn't touch those. So it's still the same tiles, lots of opportunities for consecutive run, even though we're kind of earmarking 
is that what you call it an earmark anyway we're kind of planning for like numbers with fives We have a flower, a pair of souths, green and red dragon with a pair of red dragons. In cracks, we have one, two, four, seven, nine singles. In dots, we have one, two, four, seven, eight pair of eights. In bams, we have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pung of ones, pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play little odds, one, three, five. We may or may not be able to use the dragons. And then the other hand using big numbers, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. There's actually a hand in here, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, but we have a long way to go. That nine is supposed to be a Kong. So let's get it set up. Okay, this is how I would do it. We have a flower, pung of ones, three, five, couple of ones. We would have to gather. I wouldn't pick a hand here. I would just gather one, three, five. We may or may not be able to use the red dragon, but I would hold it for maybe joker bait. The green dragon, we might be able to use with one, three, five. We'd have to let a one band go. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could hold the south for a potential quint if we get more flowers and jokers. So I'd hold this for a little while. And then down here, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. But I would keep all six through nine to see if we could maybe switch to something else if this doesn't come in, because we need a pair here. That's really the only weakness there. We could call here, use jokers, for the eights because those would be pungs and then this would be a kong. So we would have five discards with joker bait and lots of options. You don't want to have too many options though. Really, we've got lot, too many options really. Let's see. You know what else we could do? We could do like numbers with ones if that comes in. So I guess that's not too bad this probably would go i think six discards with joker bait and options that looks a little more reasonable i think if we get a north we could do north and south with ones then these would go away so really we do have about eight discards with joker bait so that's like 10 discards it's a lot but this this has potential if you would do something different, write it in the comment section below the video with pull two. Look at those flowers, five, five flowers, north and south. We have dragons, 
white, red, and green with a pair of reds. In cracks, we have two, four, six, seven singles. In bams, we have two, four, five, six, eight pair of sixes. In dots, we have one, four, five, seven, nine pair of nines and a joker. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play two, four, six, eight, and five, seven, nine. I think this is what I would focus on. Five, seven, nine dragon, leveraging the nine dot and the flowers. Use this as joker bait for this hand because down here we might be able to play a pair hand. We've got fours, we've got full two, four, six, eight, which is why I have the other flower down here because there is a hand the first hand in two, four, six, eight with four flowers in case the pair hand doesn't come in. The five, seven, nine hand requires a pair of joker uh, flowers, but there is one hand, five, seven, nine, no dragon that uses four flowers. That would be the sixth hand down on the right. So either way, we didn't use any of those tiles. So I think that's what I would do with this one. If you would do something different, write your plan in the comment section below with pull three. When you first get your dealt hand, you're gonna identify the strength of the hand by looking for multiples or a predominant pattern. Sometimes you'll have a mixture of both. Make a plan, leveraging the strength of the hand, and then build. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.